Everything about my life has been shaped by my fight, and I do mean fight for medical care and medications. I started having, um, started having medical problems um, as an adolescent, and before anything could happen, there was just all of this bureaucracy that we had to go through and you know all of this waiting. My mom and I often had to um, uh, appeal um, the insurance company claims because they might say, you know, no, we don't want to pay for, you know, for your daughter. By the time I had that um, colonoscopy when I was 17 that finally um, showed that I had Crohn's disease, it was too late and I had to have um, major, major uh, abdominal surgery. I ended up losing um, about three quarters of my small intestine, a quarter of my large intestine. I did get um, my dream job right out of college, but I ended up having to quit because they, they didn't have the money for health insurance. If I earn enough money to sort of live kind of okay, then I lose my benefits. Um, but because I have a pre-existing condition, I can't just pay for benefits. You know, sometimes when I think of, of, about the future, like, I just, I see nothing. I don't see anything. And, um, that just, like, really scares me. <laughs> it really scares me. Cannot believe that in order for me to have medical care, to have Medicaid, um, my only option right now is to, is to be poor. I have, I have a friend, um, who, who I work with, and you know, she worries that, that I'm, you know, making myself a victim by, by talking about this. A victimizing system, I'm not a victim, you know, that, and, and, and the more that, that, I, that I tell my story, you know, the less I feel like a victim. You know, I, I, feel, I feel more empowered. And thanks very much to Vanessa Beck for sharing her story with us here today on Single Payer Minute. You know, last week's Single Payer Minute, we asked people to contact their representatives. And interestingly enough, on our YouTube channel, we had a comment from somebody who did just that and found out their representative didn't even know, hadn't even heard of H.R. 676. So these actions are important. This week, it's time to step up and tell people we don't want co any more corporate bailouts. We want the American people tended to with health care. We want single payers, so in a step that'll take but a moment, write that letter to the editor, call into that radio talk show, talk to your neighbor, and let's make Single Payer Minute move another moment forward.